Anamorphic lens has been a much requested feature by those who make cinematics with Unreal Engine for a long time. Before the release of 5.1, there were a few tips and tricks on how to create a similar effect, but now it can be done by adjusting just a few parameters. Hi everyone, my name is Hoj. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make use of the new anamorphic lens effect with the Cine Camera Actor in Unreal Engine 5.1. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now I've made some changes to the forest road environment to prepare it for this tutorial. I'll go over them at the end of this video. I'll also put the link to the forest road environment tutorial in the description below. So I'm gonna add a Cine Camera Actor to my scene. Here in details, I'm gonna make use of two new parameters that have been added in the new version, a squeeze factor and crop settings. A squeeze factor is the equivalent of an anamorphic squeeze. As we squeeze, we affect the focal length as an anamorphic would. So I'm gonna change the squeeze factor to 2. You'll see that the image is gonna get stretched out. The film back is set to 16 by 9. This is super wide. So I'm gonna play around with the crop settings. 16 by 9 is what I'm gonna use. I'm also gonna have to crank up the current focal length to achieve depth of field. Because when using anamorphic lenses, if you have a 2 time stretch factor, your current focal length is divided by 2. So for example, if my current focal length is set to 50 millimeters and my squeeze factor is set to 2, my real focal length is actually 25. So let's first put the focus on my character. Now I'm gonna set the focal length to something like 100 or 160. One hundred is better. And now we're seeing those oval bokehs. We can now get a nice anamorphic look straight out of the engine. So now I want to go over the changes I made to the level. But before that, I want to ask you to subscribe and like this video. It helps the channel and motivates me to make more content for you guys. And if you have any questions or requests, make sure to tell me in the comments below. First of all, I copied the level so my previous lighting is saved. Then I changed the direction, intensity and color of the directional light to make it a night scene. I also added some help lights to make it more cinematic. Then I created an emissive material that has a random color and intensity per instance actor that it has been assigned to. It's an easy material to create but you can use the link in the description to get the one I've created for free. There are also some other free assets in the link like my free master and landscape material, camera shake blueprints, movie render cube presets and landscape alpha brushes. Make sure to check them out. Ok, now I'm gonna scatter some spheres randomly on the landscape. You can create the sphere using Unreal's modeling tools. I'm gonna create a material instance from the emissive material and assign it to the sphere in the static mesh editor. I'm gonna go over the foliage tool and paint my spheres on the landscape. Now I'm gonna play with the intensity and color of the emissive spheres. Then I'm gonna go over to the marketplace and download this character. I'll put the link in the description. I'm gonna add it to my scene. And now I'm ready to go to the beginning of the video. Add my Cine Camera Actor and go over how to create an anamorphic lens effect. I've also gathered some references for my render from some movies. I added some lights to further separate my character from the background. Then I added the camera and the character to a sequencer. Enabled the movie render cube plugin. Added the sequencer to it. Used my presets for its settings. And rendered it. Then imported the image sequence into DaVinci Resolve made some color correction edits and exported out my animation. If you want me to go over this process in a more detailed video, please tell me in the comments below. So that's it for this video. This is the first new feature video in the new features and updates playlist. 
I plan to go over as many of them as I can. So make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss them. Thanks everyone so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it's been helpful. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Now with all of that being said, I'll see you in the next one.